What's up guys? Today I am teaching you how to do another one of Taylor Cup Films transitions slash effects. It is the elevator one. We're going to jump in, but first here is what we are learning today. After you have opened After Effects, you're going to have two clips, which I've called Bathroom and Dream Clip. This is the same as in Taylor's video. He has his clip with the elevator, and then he has what is a Dream Clip, which flickers in and out, which for me is this forced. Pretty simple. So to start off, we're going to duplicate the top clip twice, which if you don't know is Control D, or for Mac users, Command D. So. The reason for this is this is a three layer effect. We are going to have one layer which is masking out the door, one layer which either masks out or rotor brushes out the subject, which is me, and the third layer is going to be what's in between, which is going to flicker on and off from the bathroom to our dream clip, such as he flickers the elevator. It's really quite simple, so let's jump into it. So, the first video, all you have to do is come up here, mask out the door, and if you do not know how to do this, go check out one of my other tutorials where I show you how to do this. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. After you have masked out the door, we are going to hide that, hide that clip, come to the second clip, and you're going to have to double click into it. The reason for this is we are going to roto brush myself out because I am moving across the clip, as you can see. So, you could mask this. It's not undoable. It just is going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort when, if you have shot this correctly, you don't have to worry about it because your foreground and background have a good contrast, such as I have a good outline. So, it's pretty simple to roto brush. So, come up here if you do not know how to do this. I recommend going and checking out my tutorial where I teach you how to do this as well. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and let's then bump this up and we are going to rotor brush this. So as this is rotor brushing, I had already kind of mentioned that when you shoot these clips you kind of have to be uh, looking beforehand on what you're going to do with them sometimes. And if you're thinking of roto brushing, you're going to want to take into um, consideration your lighting and how much contrast is yours from your subject, which is moving to your background, and if After Effects is going to be easily able to roto brush that. So we now have myself roto brushed out of the clip here. And what we're going to do is then come out and as you can see here if I were to turn off now the third layer turn back on the first one which is going to turn on the door and turn off the third one you now see that the bathroom is turned off it's pretty much I'm in my dream reality now and I'm gonna move over and my roto brushing isn't the greatest but I mean that's not terrible I would probably slow this clip down a little bit to make it more dramatic and you don't move as much, so the brushing isn't as tough. But guys, I mean, this is the transition right here. You can leave your top clip on, leave your second clip on, and your third clip, all you have to do is, if you want it to flicker, such as his did, is you're gonna hit Control Shift D, and you're gonna move it over one frame. Then you're gonna come down and go Control Shift D on your bottom clip, and pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to have to keep offsetting the clips here and then come back over another frame control shift D and the reason for this is we're just switching which clip is showing through here which bam so if we were to play it we have now gonna turn this on we have the bathroom clip which is then going to switch to dream reality which is then going to switch back to bathroom back to dream reality and so forth and this is exactly how he did the elevator he had himself masked out he had the elevator the physical inside the elevator which is just my bathroom flickering between that and dream clip with no effects on it 
and he also had the door or in my case the door in his case part of the elevator masked out and in all of that it's very very simple so I mean I hope you guys got something out of that tutorial I hope you guys learned something it's fairly easy you just kinda have to wrap your mind around what things you are going to need to mask out and you have to be familiar with layers which once you have entered the program and you've messed around a little bit it makes quite a bit of sense so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video um, why don't you go check out that insta